Can a bridge be any length? Try your best to guess, but we can bet you won't be in the area of the bridge. We shall discuss today what happens if it takes merely four years to build a bridge and it requires more than 500,000 tons of steel? We are discussing a massive undertaking that has smashed global records. China has constructed the longest bridge, which is nothing short of a miracle. However, how was it made? Why did China first construct it? And what was the price? Lastly, and maybe most intriguingly, what kind of cars might use this bridge? Due of the astounding technology employed, there are undoubtedly many concerns. However, China is renowned for leaving everyone in awe by showcasing its infrastructure and cutting edge technology. When it comes to building, China is the global leader. Just a few months from now, Chinese laborers and engineers have the ability to read buildings and change the look of whole community. This is so that China may surpass all boundaries thanks to the billions of dollars it invests in its development program. To make China the best country in the world, the employees and even the general public collaborated. Before we'll go on, subscribe to Chen Yu's to watch about the most shocking world projects. So let's continue. And their building work serves as a showcase for that. China is now the sole nation that consumes 70 of cement and 50 of cement and 50s of all steel annually. In other words, China consumes half of the steel produced worldwide and more than three quarters of the cement produced worldwide is consumed in China. China is capable of building structures that are so astounding that people are in awe of them. Innumerable cities in China include structures where no one now resides. People wait longer to purchase freshly constructed flats because of how quickly building proceeds. China, however, is not content with that, which is why it constructed the world's longest bridge. With the largest crawler crane in the world, a machine that can reconfigure thatched houses, and the strongest concrete truck in the world, China is creating something incredible. But the slow 900 slash 32, which figuratively pumps out bridges, is the incredible cost of the enormous machine. For as long as it has electricity, you only need to turn it on, and it will begin building the bridge. And this enormous bridge building machine has built the Grand Bridge's iconic Daniel, I'm crying. Tell us before we go any farther. But how long is this bridge and what makes it the longest in the world? The Danger Country and Grand Bridge is the longest bridge in the world, earning a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. It is utilized by a high-speed passenger train and is over 164.8 kilometers long, or 102.4 miles. The bridge, which spans such a wide area, connects the major cities in Jiangsu Province, China, where it is mostly located. The train connects the two far-off cities, carrying passengers to Nanjing and Shanghai. The Daniel McCutcheon Grand Bridge is a marvel since it nearly parallels the enormous Yangtze River in China. Due to the length of the bridge, it travels across a variety of environments, including fields, rice paddies, bustling canals, and rivers, before reaching the city. The bridge's length forced Chinese engineers to think about modeling it. Grand Bridge's damn country could not have been built as a single structure supported by massive iron and steel cables. Without any help from the earth, no amount of engineering could support such a lengthy bridge. As a result, the Chinese engineers chose to employ the most straightforward models. The 102.4 kilometer long bridge is supported by more than 9,500 pillars over its whole length. The Daniel McCutcheon Grand Bridge was constructed to link Kunshan, Suzhou, Wuxi, Changzhou, and finally Daniel to Nanjing and Qinghai. Engineers had to consider the largest challenge when the Danube Country and Grand Bridge building reached Suzhou. It was a challenging effort to cross the nine kilometer long Yangcheng Lake using the bridge. The bridge could not be supported by anything but pillars. For this particular lake, engineers had to employ enormous steel cables and twin pillars. Additionally, to finish the building on time, an extremely precise naval ballet involving barges and submarine technologies was required. However, how dependable is the longest bridge and how much did it cost? The bridge can withstand an earthquake of an 8 magnitude in extreme weather conditions, according to sources. Grand Bridge was a massive project with risk and cutbacks that couldn't be handled lightly. The bridge had to be built by Chinese engineers so that high-speed trains could utilize it to ferry thousands of people every day for decades to come. According to data made public by the Chinese government, Grand Bridge's cuts and damage cost $8.05 billion. 
these money were not utilized by the Chinese government today. Since the Daniel and Kenshin Grand Bridge's construction was finished in 2011, they were paid 11 years in advance. When comparing this price to what it would be worth now, it will be more than twice what was spent in 2011. And it doesn't imply that China had to pay just once to obtain a bridge in perpetuity. The Daniel I Country and Grand Bridge needs yearly maintenance since it was constructed on fragile bay soil across the Yangtze River. The expense of reconstructing or repairing worn out bridge components added to the overall cost every time the building company had to be cautious about doing so. However, the bridge is a godsend for those who use it. For the passengers, it has reduced the distance and the time by half. They are no longer restricted to using the province's highways and automobiles for transportation. They may travel anywhere they choose on the high-speed rail, which can travel at nearly 300 km. Previously, traveling by public transportation from Ningbo to Joshing took around 4.5 hours. The Daniel I'm Country Grand Bridge has made it possible for travelers to go to dashing in under two hours. Don't forget to consider the materials utilized to build the bridge. Such a magnificent bridge required almost 500,000 tons of steel and 2.5 million cubic meters of concrete to build. For more than four years, almost 10,000 employees were hired to construct this longest bridge. Finally, the bridge could never be made into a street at whatever cost because it is almost 100 miles long. As a result, the Daniel Am Country and Grand Bridge makes looping detours before arriving at its final destination. It's extremely amazing that China accomplished such a feat just to benefit local travelers. Just to shorten the distance that people previously had to travel inside Jiangsu province, about $8.05 billion was spent. As soon as construction on the bridge began, rumors began to go throughout the globe that China was constructing it in order to increase their wealth and the flow of business. However, China debunked all of them by constructing a bridge that could only be used by high-speed train. This bridge took more than four years to finish, cost more than $8.05 billion, and needed the use of half a million tons of steel. China has shown that it is a nation that is forward, thinking by the way it has developed the construction was completed in 2011, back when the concept of a high-speed rail was still cutting edge. How do you feel? Will there ever be another country that can build a bridge that is longer than the current record holder? Since around 11 years ago, the Daniel family home in Grand Bridge has been featured in the Guinness Book of World Records statement that is right below the comment box. Do you think about Daniel? I'm cutting Grand Bridge, whether it's one large bridge or several shorter bridges. Thanks for watching. Click on this video to watch about other shocking, amazing projects.